my 10 year plan is to start my own pig farm and start processing them myself. So fingers crossed that happens. Uh, and then we got some kind of knickknacks that we like to put together for people. Hey, what's up? I'm William. This is me. This is my shop. I'm new from Lance Sausage Company. Oh yeah, so we're on Southside Road. So this used to be a like uh, grocery store, um, butcher shop, a general store, and uh, it was ran by Hans Nodlersky Senior, and it opened in 1953. I rented from Hans, uh, who was uh, Hans' son. Yeah, it's just a little shop actually um, in a residential area, which is very uncommon, if you will. Um, so yeah, I mean we've been down here for two and a half years. And uh, so this is the basement level, or level one. And then there's like level two, which is the retail area. How many of you are here? Uh, so there's me, uh, Joseph, and Aaron, and then my partner, Jessica, who helps me on the weekends uh, with the retail. So there's like four of us. Um, and then Aaron and Joseph are like apprenticing, or just kind of learning through me and doing an apprenticeship. And uh, Jessica is uh, just, you know, my partner. And she comes down and helps me on Saturdays. So oh, yeah, what uh, made you decide to become a butcher? So uh, as a teenager, I started working at different restaurants. So I was just kind of in the culinary world. You know, basically I was like cooking the product, but I never really like understood how to like break it down. That was about the extent of it. But then I met Will, he got a job at the same restaurant and he kind of showed me like a few things like how to, you know, break apart a pig and stuff like that. And it was just, I was really interested in it. I was like, oh wow, this is like a whole different side of like, the culinary world that I had no idea just kind of made sense to try it out and I ended up liking it more than cooking so here we are. Yeah. Never make a mistake twice. As I have two cuts. <laughs> <laughs> as I have two bandages. <laughs> Dull knife is a dangerous knife. As we say. Yeah. And a falling knife has no handle. Mm -hmm. Don't catch it. <laughs> what was it that drew you to this line of work? Uh, I'm more of a go with the flow, so as uh, Will just kind of asked me if I wanted to work down here, so I said yes, and then the rest of history. Yeah, I can make a medium rare steak now, that's basically it. Yeah, but you're cutting steaks. I'm cutting steaks, yeah, 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 yeah. Sauce I know how to cut steaks. You know yeah. how to grind meat now. Yeah, I cut these actually, cut these nice ribeyes. And he did a very good job. Yeah, they're pretty consistent. And the other thing too that's mentioned here is that this is, this is what I love, is that anyone can do it, you just need to be exposed to it. Basically we produce all week and then there's a big push on Saturday. Friday is a packaging day essentially. So what we do is, you know, we cut the steaks, uh, we grind the meat, we pipe the sausage. Um, we do roasts, all kinds of good stuff. And we do that all week. And then on Friday we come down, we package. There's still a little bit of cutting that we do. Uh, and then it's a big push for Saturday. So Saturdays we wake up early, get ready, come down here about an hour before. We receive bread, uh, we receive meat pies, we receive eggs. And then if it's in season, we receive like vegetables and herbs and stuff like that. Uh, and then Saturday we start at 10. Typically there's like a lineup and we just bring the customers in they go in they you know serve themselves uh, and then if we sell out we get out of here a bit early but if not we're here till five and that's it just a big push for saturday <laughs> <laughs>